Welcome to WROL Broadcast, a special breaking news edition. Raids have made it into DC Legends. Are you excited, Kage? We're both pretty excited, right? I'm pretty darn excited, and judging by your insane totals that you already have, um, which you've recently been passed, but we all thought you were hacking at first. Um, uh huh. You, yeah, you look. Stanner excited. sent me. Stanner sent me a message, and she's like, "Yo, why do you have so many points?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> and she's like, "Well, you're leading the scoreboard right now." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just playing the game like normal. Nothing fishy going on here." And then they temporarily banned you. And that's why you. Left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they kicked me off the app for a little bit. I'm like, what? <laughs> All right. Well, all jokes aside, let's talk about the invasion. Or actually, before the invasion, Darkseed is coming to Earth looking for long-lost mother boxes, wondrous devices of near-limitless power. But first, he has sent Steppenwolf to pave the way through the invasion. So it looks like anytime you play any PvE content, whether it is through speed forcing or through just playing the game regular, you have a Steppenwolf boss that just randomly pops up. Kage, do you have to answer that? <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, it's shut the hell up! All right, and the... So the bosses that spawn, whenever you're playing PvE content, are the raid bosses, which are for you individually. And that's what allows you to climb the rewards tiers, which you there's it goes all the way up to 35 reward tiers. And then as you gain those reward tiers, the higher you are, the higher level bosses that spawn. Right. So a lot of people are confused. It's uh, There's different types of uh, raid energy. There's alliance raid energy, and there's individual. Focus on the individual one. Just don't worry about the alliance raids right now. Um, we just, we're not entirely sure what they're going on with it. Um, they did release a statement earlier that this is just a preview of what's to come, so don't think this is the end product, I'm pretty sure this, they're going to be tweaking it as they go along. Which obviously so, Darkseid's coming, which we, we I mean, they've announced that, so at the very least we're going to see Darkseid coming. But what's yeah. cool about this feature, and I don't know if I'd go necessarily what Kage said on ignoring the Alliance boss. The Alliance boss, if you look on the info tab in the raid button, there is the top solo leaderboard rewards, which seem pretty awesome. Position 1, 50 level 5 XP balls that is a lot of xp and twenty four thousand legendary excellence and then if you look at their actual reward tiers the very top reward gives you crystals which i wasn't sure if they were going to make crystals be a thing that is you know difficult to obtain but it seems like it is because it seems like it's going to be a coveted prize so you might want to be very cautious about who you rebirth because it doesn't seem like they're going to be real easy to obtain maybe we'll see next month what other avenues you can obtain it from but it seems like it's going to be a, a rare item but there's everything from gear to XP fragments, notes, fragments yes. legendary essence, speed force, um, light and dark, and it looks like there's um, all kinds of stuff. Rings of every kind. I mean, it it, it is great rewards for this event. Um, yeah, so it is it is worth your time to invest uh, some gems into doing some PVE runs, and especially they released it today as like a you know, if tonight when it rolls over on reset, it's going to be a PVE alliance day. So you can be able to rack up some uh, Steppenwolf. Well, that's, that's assuming it keeps going. I, I mean, it ends in 24 hours, but is this going to keep happening over and over? We have no idea. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that's a big assumption. I, you know, I don't know if this is this thing's going to keep rolling over and over and over, or if it's going to. This is a one-time thing. It's hard to say what this thing's going to be yet, but it definitely. Seems pretty cool. And so far, I'm having fun. Um, I've gotten up to level 90 bosses. It said that it's saying it said somewhere on here that in a certain amount of time, other bosses are spawning. Somebody in my alliance was saying because I haven't been able to get anything over level 90 to spawn. No, uh, no. When we were, uh, can we allowed? Are we allowed to say we were beta testing? I don't think. I think so. Standard, I think Standard said it's okay. Oh, uh, well, okay. Hang on. Let me check. I didn't remember her saying unless she said that to you privately. Yeah, just scroll up. She said that it's okay for us to announce that we were testing it. Okay, you can all talk about testing. Oh, okay. Okay, so when we were testing it, um, level 100s and 150s were spawning more liberally. But I think because WB saw me climb the board so freaking high, so freaking fast, they, I'm assuming they nerfed it. So we're not seeing anything above level 90 um, right now. 
but uh, level 150 bosses when they come out, um, just be ready. <laughs> be ready. They they drop what was it? 5.5 million. Uh, I yeah, they drop 5.5 million uh, points. There's a lot of cool stuff that's going on with this. The alliance bosses, we're still a little confused about how that works, even after going through testing. The alliance bosses, as you beat them, they gain higher and higher and higher and higher, and they're a little bit harder than the regular raid bosses. We didn't experiment it with it too much because it was just you know a couple of us in there running it, but so far I'm still seeing only level three bosses in our alliance. No. When we were testing it, it went up to like level twenty bosses with like forty million, ex- you know, HP and everything. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, not they're not scaling higher than level three. Um, so we're not entirely sure what's going on with that either. I think, I think they're just gonna test this raid event for twenty four hours, just get some feedback, uh, work out the bugs, and then release it back to the public. Yeah, it's hard to say when that will happen again. Um... In testing, it just continued to roll over while we were testing it, but obviously, you know, we're in a testing environment and everything was weird, so we don't really know how it will play out in, in the real world. But it seems like a cool event. Um, a couple of notes that people are confused about. if On your log, if you have more than 20 bosses on your raid boss list, it may not spawn new ones, so make sure you clear those out. And also, you're not going to get higher level ones until you gain different levels, so you want to make sure you're killing them. You can't yeah. have alliance teammates. If you're late into the game and you're just now seeing this and you have an alliance teammate who's way up on the leaderboard, ask them to do a little bit of damage to their boss and share it, and then you can get a nice jump start on your leaderboard. Because the the MVP gets the most points, but if you're sharing like a level 90 boss, you're still going to get a ton of experience, or ton of points. So if the, if the person who found it only did a small amount of damage, you can still get close to 1.2 million. Because you're going to get that bonus. So, right. But you have to hit the boss, then go back into it to be able to share it. You can't share it until you've engaged that boss. Yeah. Um, what else are people confused about right now? Because everyone is trying to figure out what's going uh, on. You spawn raid... Okay, break down. You spawn raid bosses doing PvE content, Speed Force, or regu- doing it regularly. That's anything. And uh, it doesn't seem to matter any... It doesn't matter if it's level 1 or chapter chapter 1 or chapter 8 or yeah what it, whatever you're doing it doesn't matter it, they should all the bosses are random that spawn but once you're higher you'll only get like once you're like over so many million you'll only get the highest level 35 level. or level 56 you won't you won't keep getting level 8s or level t- you know 4s or anything like that right so basically the raid difficulty is tied to how high you are on the individual reward ladder <laughs> leave comments and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, if you have any questions, leave comments, subscribe, um, become a Patreon at the highest tier, and we'll give you extra <laughs> info. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can wrap it up there. Like... All right, five times. <laughs> Get in there. I started late, so all y'all got a head start on me. And honestly, for a long time, I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but... PVE, kill bosses. PVE, kill bosses. This is a 90. We didn't do too, too much damage to them. Don't seem like we're doing a lot of damage to them. It's starting to pick up. Grundy, man, I think Grundy's key, though, man. If they can they stay away from, see, if we can just stay away from him, with his next go down, we're gonna lose our trifers. That's weird, though. That'd be the first time I lost a trifer, if he goes down. Nice, good job. Barely hung in there, though. Yeah, 90. Dead. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of WROL Broadcasts, a subsidiary of the Oddsman and We Are Legends. To view additional content and support the show, please go to patreon.com slash WROL Broadcasts.